Hi friends, this is Kishore and you are watching Kishore Vlogs. Kerala, known to be the God's own country, is going through a very tough situation due to heavy rains and subsequent floods. In 20 days, Kerala got the highest August rains in last 87 years and most part of Kerala is underwater. Kerala has around 50 plus dams and they had to raise the waters as the water levels were going high due to these rains. About 400 plus lost their lives, thousands stranded in relief camps, most of them lost whatever they had. Kerala had never experienced such a disaster in its history. The entire Kerala needs to be rebuilt. Kerala and its people are very strong and I am very sure that she will come out of all these things. But a lot of help is needed from all the Indians as well as around the world. Kerala as a state in India excels in many indicators like 100% literacy, highest human development index, world's first state to be baby friendly, spice garden of India and many more. Now adding to that, Kerala has created history with the kind of rescue operations going on. Salute to all the unsung heroes of Kerala involved in the rescue operations, transportation of food and other essentials. Many risked their lives to save others, especially the fishermen of Kerala, armed forces, police and others. 2,800 fishermen with their boats were involved in the rescue operations and they have rescued more than 80,000 people. The convent of Kerala announced Rs 3,000 for every fisherman involved in this rescue operations. But today I read that these fishermen have refused to take that 3,000, which we are proud of. They are so sincerely involved in the rescue operation. Not just fishermen, each and every person who is helping out in this rescue operation is doing a great job. All the telecom operators announced that the telephone calls inside Kerala would be free. Foreign Ministry announced that all the passports damaged or lost due to flood would be issued free of cost at the earliest. All the relief materials coming out of India would be duty free and IGST be exempted. Tons of help has been coming from all the states in India, from the Middle East, some from other countries. But the process of rebuilding the state would be really long. The central government provided all the possible support and help by providing finances, army and other things, other relief materials, food, water. A lot of things have been done by the central government. This is just a beginning to rebuild Kerala. We would be needing a lot of help from the government as well as private citizens to help as per their capacities. Now, as the water levels are going down, Many of these people from the relief camp are moving towards their home. When they go there, they may find either their homes are not there or fully damaged or partially damaged or a lot needs to be done to rebuild or for, for these people to get back to normal. Everything needed to be started from the scratch. Some may be having money to rebuild their houses or come back to normal by their own finances but most of the people would be needing help from others. We all need to do our best to help Kerala to come back to normal. India is a country with a population of 125 crores. We have 65% of our population below the age of 35. If every Indian or say 10 crore Indians contribute 100 rupees, we can collect 1000 crores. Please send all your contribution to the Chief Minister's Relief Fund. It's not just money. If you can do anything else that could contribute to help rebuild Kerala, please do it at the earliest. There are many collection centers, volunteers organizing this. Please do contact them and find out what is actually needed and do the things which would really be helpful rather than just spending something or sending something which would not be of real use. Make sure that you are doing the contribution to the right account of the Chief Minister's Relief Fund. There are some fraudsters around taking advantage of the situation. One more thing, if you are not able to help, it's fine. But please don't create problems or any other situations to spoil what other people are doing. Nobody should be allowed to take advantage of such situations or such disasters to make money or score brownie points or 
even politics or nothing should come into this this is a disaster kerala needs help and we need to help whoever it is we shouldn't think about anything else rather than building up kerala the cause the disaster the people the suffering all those things that's it another important thing don't increase the prices because there is a shortage some airlines increase the ticket rates from kerala to delhi so high vistara is operating for 13000 rupees spice just 27000 rupees and jet airways 87000 rupees shame on you jet airways i was one of your loyal customer i will try my best not to travel in jet airways as much as possible this is not acceptable to wind up please do whatever is possible from your side to rebuild kerala to help the people who are suffering lot needs to be done each and every person whatever small it is please try to do whatever you can i'll be trying to do whatever i can do from my side all the earnings from this video would be going to the chief minister's relief fund other than this i'll try to do my best to help build my state as much as possible please share this video so that more and more people be aware of what's happening in kerala thank you for watching bye for now